Sammy, how did you score uh, round uh, number four? I thought this was Fernando's best round. So I gave him now. He's it's three rounds to one. Let's see how well Stokes can come back in round number five from what appeared to be a couple of blows that found the mark from the gloves of Nicky Perlano in round four. Perlano jabbing away with that left hand and scoring repeatedly with it. Very important, Dan, to get that left hand in there. That starts everything. He's got great reflexes and he gets that left hand pretty good. You see what he's doing with it now? Beautiful left hook to the left. And then he holds. Orlando has very quick feet. He has very quick reflexes. This is particularly apparent when you see him in training sessions when he works with the speed bag and with the ropes. I gave that round to uh, Perlano because uh, Stokes foolishly went right back and uh, looked to me a little deliberate, went to hit him a little low himself. Stokes in his corner being attended to by Stan Weiss. And at the moment, uh, according to Sammy Luck Springs, unofficial card trailing four rounds to one. Nicky Perlano being cautioned, I think, now by referee John Trojak about those low blows. Seconds up. Also cautioning Stokes. Round number six of this Canadian Junior Lightweight Championship. Been a good fight so far. Been a dandy. Look at that left hand. It means so much. It counts for so many points. Oh, hit him all again. Seems every time that Orlando comes out of one of those clinches, he seems to lead with that low left hand. Oh, I think he snuck a right hand through. I've never seen him shot. I've never seen Orlando sharper than he is beautiful by the shot. He got he hit him on the elbow. Uh, I've never seen Polano as sharp as he is tonight. 
He can throw that left hand so quickly and so often. Look at how nice that He gets on those ropes and he can really cover up as well. Now, unless somebody think that I'm favoring uh, Fernando, it's not so. Uh, I'm being very unbiased in, uh, in any way, shape, or form. I just feel that that's the way it is. Up to now. I know you're completely unbiased, Sammy. It's uh, a matter of fact, and just being very observant as to the boxing skills of Nicky Perlano. You're impressed. Very much so. Ooh. Well, I had him a nice hook, but he's back to the, uh, to the ropes. Coach is throwing most of the punches here, but he's not That's getting too nice. many of them. Beautiful, Orlando beautiful. Scoring with his combination. You see the combination, Tom? A good left-right combination. Body shot. Left hand, followed by a right. Trying all the time, all the time, fighting back. Game as you make it, man. Fernando saving himself. Well, I would say, in looking at your scorecard, that Danny Stokes is in some difficulty. He is well behind, trailing five rounds to one unofficially in this bout. The only thing he's got going for him is there's still ten rounds. There's, uh, by the way, I'm sure there's nine rounds. Nine rounds left. But he better get rolling a little bit now, I think. He's been throwing a lot of punches, and the way Ferlano has been covering up, he may uh, be playing himself out a little. Milano continually throwing that left hand in there. Smooth, quick, and entertaining is the way to describe Nicky Ferlano. Oh, good right hand. He crossed with the right. This Stokes won't quit though, Sam. This is a little battler boy. I've watched him fight a lot of fights, and he never stops. He, he's always trying, always trying. He'll try through this whole thing. He'll try very hard. Something tells me, Don, he got, uh, he got Ferlando on one of his better nights. Well, Ferlando has been training and working hard for this bout, and his manager, Travis Suck, has said he is extremely sharp, and we've seen evidence of it in the ring. Good. Stokes. Stokes doing a little work there. Stokes had to do a little work to make the weight for this fight. Yesterday, he weighed in at one. Oh, beautiful right here. Shook him down. Shook him down with a great right hand just a few seconds ago. That left hand is opening it all up for him. Oh, look at that right hand. Look at that. And he went right back to the body. Look at him turning him out. A left hand. He's got him in the corner. Jabbing away with that left hand. He's building up a lot of points with that effort. You should see the little tricks he does, Dan. Dan, you gotta watch him the way he turns him off. He grabs his arm and turns him off. And, and only a pro that's been through the mill learns all these things. What a workmanlike job. Good left hook.
Look at, look at that. Isn't that nice? Yes. Nice left hook by Fernando. Stokes never stops trying. For trying to force him into the corner. Get your Get your Fernando's throwing that left hook. Coming back with a right hand. Stokes just doesn't seem at this stage to be able to land many blows. There's the bell to end round number seven, and very definitely that round, I think, going in favor of Nicky Ferlano. You are right. Now, you're watching this picture. To see him turn him up, only a, a pro that's been in there quite a while knows these things. And he's learned, oh, he's learned his job well. He's learned, his, he's learned to be a fighter. Watch. Nice hook off it. Beautiful. Orlando, uh, some people wondered about his endurance and his ability to go 15 rounds should this fight go the distance. However, he doesn't seem to be nearly as tired as Danny Stokes. Orlando has been uh, taking most of Stokes' blows to the body. And I know what it is, Don, because I remember my 15-round fight. It came about the seventh or eighth round, and I thought my throat was cut. I was so getting so tired and realized I had eight more rounds to go. So at this stage of the game, you get a little weary, and you got to get a second win to come on. Round number eight. Both of these kids look far from weary. Stokes ever pressing the fight. Yes, he's been the aggressor from the outset. She had lovely left hook he dropped in. Fernando hit him with a great left hook in the left hands, opening him up. Continually coming through with that left. The great part, uh, Don, is not looking to hang on or anything like that. You know, going into a clinch, they're fighting. Very little clinching. Stokes is 25 years of age. And after the first Orlando fight, he had indicated that he would retire. However, he uh, is back. If he loses this one, he has indicated, though, that he may decide to hang him up. At the moment, uh, on Sammy Lovespring's card, Stokes is trailing, and Ferlando continually slips that left hand through, jabbing with it, coming with left hooks. Good left, good left hook to the body. So far, Orlando has been successful, Sammy, in warding off most of Stokes' blows on his arms and on his gloves. Nothing really getting through to the head. Took a lot of his hands. Yes. Really, Stokes hasn't got through them. But then he, I don't think he more than two punches for him. Orlando, as you can see in the corner, continually getting that left hand into the head. Which is amazing when you're when you're backed up into a corner that you're becoming the aggressor. And, and and he has the ability to do that. He'll fight back on this in a second or two. You watch now he's just laying there, just taking a rest. That's about what it amounts to. There he is. covers up. Stokes really isn't able to do much with it. Stokes pushing Orlando back into the corner. Orlando seems quite content just to cover up in that corner. Just take it away. Then he comes back and throws a flurry at him. Oh, oh, oh through the tower. They throw the tower in. The fight is over. The fight is over. part of Stan Weiss. He threw the towel in and we'll be back right after this message.
Okay, let's Here take you. a look at that flurry of punches that Ferlano threw and resulted Here's. in standbys throwing in the towel. Here you see Ferlano going to work on him. Now, this would have been the pattern of the fight. And it couldn't have, it's just as well they threw the towel in because he would have taken that kind of luck in the rest of the way. I don't think there's no way that Stokes could have knocked out Ferlano and it would have come on to win the fight. So this is about as good an ending as it could be. So it's Ferlano throwing those blows, landing them repeatedly. Stan Weiss, the manager, throwing in the towel, and I think what a wise decision on his part. Nicky Ferlano, congratulations. You were throwing a lot of blows out there and scoring repeatedly. You must have felt quite confident as the fight was going along. Yes, it was. I trained really hard for this fight. And I want to say just one thing. I want to say thank you, Nico Rico, for sending to me the lovely flowers. <laughs> Sammy Lovespring, who has refereed quite a number of your fights and worked with me as the color commentator on this bout, said that he's never seen you look sharper. Well, I trained very hard for this fight. I mean, I've been sparring 10 to 12 rounds, running six miles, you know, eating all the kinds of good food you can possibly eat. And I really felt super for this fight. I could have gone 20 rounds tonight. Your manager, Travis, sucked. And Travis, uh, I think that was a wise move on the part of Stan Bison, a, a heady move. He didn't want his boy to get hurt. Yeah, Dan Danny was getting, uh, Nicky was, was, that was, a, he was following the fight plan right down the line, and, and we were going to start to come on now. And, uh, and in that round, Nick was going to start hitting them with five and six punch combinations. Well, when you were covering up in the corner, you're just having a little rest. Oh, yeah, you seem to come out of those, seem to come out of those clinches and really throw some blows and land oh, yes. repeatedly. Oh yes, that's what I was waiting for. I was just laughing there myself. This guy's just tiring out. I'm just laughing in there. Then meanwhile, I just came on. Meanwhile, Danny's a heck of a fighter. He's he's got nothing to be ashamed about. Uh, he came to fight. I know he worked hard for this fight. I know he's upset about it. But I hope Danny Stokes doesn't retire. He's a great competitor, and I'm sure Nicky feels the same way. That's How many right. offers have you had for your robe? Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> hey, Nicky, what's next in store? Well, we're supposed to come here in uh, May, is June. it? June? Well, we, the promoters here... Uh